Welcome to the Senior Hour. The following is paid programming and does not necessarily reflect the opinions of KHS or its ownership. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64? Good morning and welcome to the Senior Hour, which is sponsored by Comfort Keepers in Home Care and Advanced Audiology. I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Doria, on your hometown station, 98.1 FM and AM 1220 KHTS. This is a show for, about, and by seniors, giving information to enhance one's quality of life. And our first guest this morning is Mary Demkowski from Oakmont Senior Living. How are you? I'm it's great. Good to Thank see you. you again. Good to you see have, you both. You have good news, don't you? We have yeah. lots of news. Lots of yes. yes. news. Go um, for it, kid. So um, <laughs> the good news is Oakmont of Valencia um, has officially opened its doors to residents. Congratulations. Um, thank you. So we started moving in residents uh, this on Monday. So we have uh, six residents now living at our community. Uh, we have our staff on board. Um, they've been going through the last two months. Our staff has been training. They've gotten some outstanding uh, training and are ready to, to cater to the needs of our uh, wonderful residents at Oakmont. That is wonderful. And now where is the new location? So our new location is on Copper Hill Drive. Yeah. Um, so Oakmont of Santa Clarita opened in January of 2016 and uh, is a beautiful community set up on Newhall Ranch Road. And then Oakmont of Valencia um, just opened recently, um, officially opened uh, end of June, but we just started moving in residents. So and you're on uh, Copper Hill Drive. 24070 Copper Hill Drive. We're in front of Rio Norte Junior High um, near the Albertson Shopping Center. So, Mary, our listeners, there are some listeners who are thinking, okay, a building's opening, so what? So what? You know, mm -hmm. and this is the senior hour, and there is application and connection with what we are talking about, mm -hmm. Oakmont is a assisted living facility for older adults. Mm -hmm. um, but some of our listeners don't know what that means. Of course. So I like to describe it as an all-inclusive lifestyle. Um, so we are, an <coughs> excuse me, we are an assisted living, but you don't have to need assistance to live at an Oakmont Senior Living. It could simply be that um, you're, you don't want to maintain your home anymore. It's getting too much or... Um, cooking meals is, you know, becoming difficult. Um, or it could be the fact that maybe you lost a spouse and um, you don't want to live alone anymore. Or maybe one of, it could be a couple that one of them maybe needs assistance and the other doesn't. So um, when you live at Oakmont, you uh, we provide all your meals for you. We have a restaurant style dining room. So our residents go to the dining room um, during the day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We take care of their housekeeping, their laundry. We have a full-time driver that can drive them to and from doctor appointments. Um, most communities that are assisted living offer these, these services. Mm -hmm. um, we have a full-time activity director, so we have lots of activities planned for them. So if, a, if someone is social and maybe feeling a little isolated at home, they're going to have the opportunity to um, participate in a wide range of activities. Um, our activity director at Oakmont is very creative in bringing in some really fun uh, ideas. Um, and then on the other, on the other end of it, if someone does need assistance with, say, they memory, they have some memory issues and might need someone to help them with their medications, or maybe they're physically. Uh, needing some assistance with bathing. We have staff that can provide all that. Um, and the nice thing about living in an assisted living community is if you move in, in and you're independent and you can enjoy all the wonderful amenities, but then as you age and your needs start to change and you might need some assistance, that takes place right in the community. Mm -hmm. um, so our, our goal is for our residents to be able to, you know, do what we say, age in place. Mm -hmm. There, there are not too many of, of my patients who are older adults who are going to say, I want to go to a nursing home. Uh, and there still aren't too many that are going to say that they want to move out of their home. Exactly. Uh, and they do want to, as you said, age in place. Mm -hmm. 
but some of their children are living here and they're they're watching their their parents age in place but yet um they can see that to a certain degree they're 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 not doing as well as they should. They're falling. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not eating as well. Mm -hmm. They're losing weight. Mm -hmm. um, they're not uh, taking their medicines correctly. Uh, their their hygiene sometimes isn't as good. There's mm -hmm. so many things that uh, caregivers start to look at and say, "Oh, mom and or dad is just not doing well." How do the those who are listening, who are not in, who have, who are caregivers for their loved ones? How do they start to recognize what they can do uh, and see some of the changes taking place that are warning signs for them? Definitely. I mean, I, I think all of those things that you shared, um, you know, as our, our parents, you know, myself, my mom included, um, as they st start to maybe not function as well at home as they used to, you know, and those signs that you described, it maybe you'll go in and you'll see you know, that the house isn't kept up like it used to be, or that maybe there's expired food in the refrigerator, or, um, you know, sometimes uh, family members will set up the medications, you know, I've seen mm -hmm. the like the pill boxes, and, and they go in and they see, well, they're not, some of them are, are not being taken. So mm -hmm. just those are different signs to look for. Um, again, you had mentioned about the falling, and sometimes at home, as seniors age, the homes just aren't a safe environment anymore. If it's a if it's a two story home and you know they're no longer able to go up and down stairs, then that can be you know that can be of concern um, that it's not a safe environment for them to maneuver in. Um, mm -hmm. So just different things to to look at, um, mm -hmm. like you mentioned, just the, it, the you know the signs of getting older. Mm -hmm. Uh, and in, I know, you know, most seniors do say that they, they want to stay in their home. And the adult children, of course, you know, want to respect that wish, uh, myself included. But you really have to look at, is that the best option for them? Is that mm -hmm. going to keep them safe? Are they going to thrive <laughs> um, staying in their home? Or maybe is there another alternative to, to look at? Mm. So it gets to be a pretty big leap when they even recognize that there are problems taking place, but emotionally they can't just walk away from mm -hmm. where they've been living sometimes for 50 or 60 years. Exactly. So how do we convince them? How do we bring them on board with understanding the safety factors, the health problems, all these things that are taking place that we're recognizing? How do we convince them that, you know, they – a change might be necessary and you know sometimes that that is challenging and you know when we meet with families at Oakmont um, we really try to learn learn about them and what's important to them and mm -hmm. maybe what what types of things do they enjoy doing and really try to transition them so that they're seeing that they aren't going to lose what they value they're not going to mm -hmm. lose their independence and um, you know, if they like to garden, you know, we have that opportunity to garden because that's a, a lot of what we hear is, you know, I like to putter in my yard and, um, you know, I, I feel like I might lose that by moving out of my home. So really finding out what's important to them and seeing how can we, how can we continue with that moving into a, a community. Mm -hmm. Well, now, how, how do you set this up? Do you have the person come in and do you give them a tour of the Absolutely. place and you know, give them mm -hmm. all of the information they need to know along with the possible caregivers, daughters, mm -hmm. sons? Usually what happens thing. is I find that the family members come in first to kind of do their initial research and we talk about their family member, learn a lot about that, that um, their loved one and then get that them to bring in the family member and just approach it as let's have lunch or maybe come join a happy hour or um, you know maybe there's a certain event that might appeal to them if they we just did a painting class if they liked art you know bring them in and have them try that and just let them experience the community a little bit um, and gently approach that that subject of you know moving out of their home. I'm sure you have bingo there. Oh, yes. 
More that than once is, a week. <laughs> oh, that's a favorite game for seniors. Yes. I love it. Yes. I love it. It's but not a everybody lot of likes fun. Bingham. You know, no, some people true. aren't into games and they'd rather do an art class or they would rather do a dance class. So Or a little bit of everything. Or a little bit of everything. Absolutely. Yep. For and that's sure. that's important. Mm hmm But how did still it's a tough uh, it conversation is. to have and to convince yeah. our older adults that they're not moving into a nursing home. Right. And I you think because they're going to say, I'm not going where there are a lot of walkers and mm -hmm. wheelchairs mm -hmm. and, you know, people who are invalid and frail and elderly. They hate that word. Um, you know, they they don't want to sometimes face that reality. Exactly. But, you know, you know, I think every family comes to the point where you have to you know, have that conversation. conversation. And sometimes you have to do it gradually. Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes you just, you know, if there's a fall or a hospitalization involved, you have to snap your fingers and say, hey, we got to make a change. Yeah. And sometimes it, it, it exa it, it's exactly what you said. It, it could be a fall and then, the, you know, the doctor and, and the people that are caring for that loved one in the skilled nursing say that, you know, your loved one cannot go home without mm -hmm. care. So, Sometimes it's an, a quick situation where we, we need to move someone in quickly, and other times it's people start their search early on, knowing that down the road, um, if I have to move out of my home, I, I want to know where I'm, you know, I want to know what's available. And so we'll have people come in, and they move in two years later. Um, mm -hmm. We have a couple that um, is moving in with us that I toured um, in 2015, and they weren't quite ready, but they knew when they would be when they're when they were ready. They wanted to live at Oakmont, so mm -hmm. now they're joining us at Oakmont of Valencia. So um, there's different situations, but um, I just always tell family members there are resources out there, mm -hmm. and um, don't hesitate to reach out, whether it's to you know talk having a conversation with their physician or. Um, you know, coming to us and, and just letting us maybe offer some resources, even if it's not Oakmont. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they sh everybody should be anticipating uh, one's needs. And mm -hmm. when you start to see the changes, you just hope that it doesn't happen emergently where you exactly. have to, you know, s snap your fingers and boom, make, make a change. Because that's a lot of times even worse when you can gradually introduce the ideas into one's uh, psyche, they mm -hmm. do much better. Mm -hmm. And uh, just knowing that what's available and what their options are makes it a lot, a lot easier. Now, do they, you know, one of the questions I'm sure our listeners are worried about is how about pets? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we're pet friendly at Oakmont. So yeah. we actually have a pet park at both communities. So mm -hmm. it's an kind of a, um, nice gated area where mm -hmm. residents who have pets can let them run off a leash. So we are mm -hmm. pre pet friendly. Mm -hmm. um, we, we definitely don't want our seniors to have to give up their pet if that's mm -hmm. important to them. So we do allow, um, as long as the pet is appropriate, the dog, you know, not overly large and um, behaves well. And uh, mm -hmm. they can also bring um, their cat as well. And as if long they, as they're if not, they behave well and yeah. they're not overly large. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, if a resident does have a dog or a cat and it's difficult for them to take the dog out for a walk or clean the litter box, um, we will do that for them. Wow. So. But you don't have yet for at least the guys, a garage to putter around in. Well, actually, we do. Oh, um, right. At Oakmont I'll of bring Valencia, my car over. At, the <laughs> <laughs> at the new community, we actually, our owners actually built resident garages. So we have seven of them. Oh, wow. So uh, if a resident moves in and wants to have that garage to park their car or simply wants that garage for extra storage or, like you said, to mm -hmm. putter around, they're, they're able to, um, to, to get a garage. Well, you, you should have six and then one available for everyone. A, a, <laughs> it's like a, a little... So, a social public yeah. garage for the guys or, and even girls now <laughs> to, to you know, tinker yeah, around in. That's a great in. idea. You know, as long as it's air conditioned. Hey, and as, long <laughs> oh, as, it, as long as it has a pool table. There you go. A pool table. Okay. <laughs> that's a great Big idea. Big screen, pool table, you know. <laughs> Make it a man, a man cave. <laughs> man cave. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Puttering around man cave. All right. <laughs> go, you guys are thinking of everything now. 
but yeah. but it, I mean every Oakmont, you know, Oakmont of Valencia is a little bit different than Oakmont of Santa Cruz. Oakmont of Santa Cruz has a putting green, and Oakmont of Valencia has a bocce ball court. So, oh, wow. um, and we have the resident garages. The other kind of addition to our community is. Uh, both communities have a state-of-the-art movie theater. At Oakmont cool. of Valencia, um, our owners put a movie theater into memory care. So there's actually two movie theaters, oh, yeah. one for oh. our assisted living residents and one for those that are living in our memory care community, which is the specialized community for those dealing with Alzheimer's dementia. Very interesting. Now, that's that's really an asset. It is. Mm -hmm. It a is. very big asset. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think the most important part is when when residents are moving in, you do a history and find out what their interests are. Absolutely. Because if, if you don't and they're just, you know, walking in the door, you know, it just, you know, you have to, every place has to contour um, the arena that they're setting up for the individual for them. You mm -hmm. have to figure it out. How are you going to do it for this individual person? Right. So and and that's not an easy task. That's why all of our staff we really um, get in you know try to learn as much about that resident mm -hmm. moving in with us. You know our activity director, our nurse, um, our culinary team. Um, we have the family share a lot of information with us on a it's called a resident life story, so that we we will you know have as much knowledge of that person that couple. Um, what their life was like um, when they come in. Mm -hmm. And an important part is in, f in finding that information. It's, you know, to know not only their background, but also to, uh, sometimes I re as we work to have worked together for many years, Mary, mm -hmm. um, knowing, having on their door, they're not just their name and, and their identity, but sometimes a photo Mm -hmm. of who they were in the past yes. and what they've done because so many of our seniors have accomplished many, many uh, things uh, in their life mm -hmm. that they're proud of and others are proud of too. Absolutely. The, one, I, one thing I wanted to ask is, do you take insurances? So with assisted living... Medicare, I yeah. because... I That's think a very common question. So Medicare is for your medical needs. So we are a non-medical community. So Medicare does not cover any portion of the cost to live at an assisted living. Um, if someone has long-term care insurance, which you know some people do, some people don't. I do. But that's smart. Um, that will uh, oftentimes offset the cost of assisted living. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it it covered one third of my husband's home care mm -hmm. every month. Yeah, that's what it's for, home care and or assisted living. It, I mean, one-third, quite a bit. That's quite a bit. Because mm -hmm. having 24-7 care mm -hmm. is very, very expensive. Very expensive. Very it expensive. really is. So. Well, this has been terrific. Thank you. And yeah, it's always great to talk to you both. And just, if I can just share with everyone, our grand opening is this Saturday, uh, July 13th from 10 to 1. It's going to be a big celebration. We're going to be doing tours, get to sample the food at Oakmont, have, have uh, mu live music. So if anyone's interested in seeing the community, um, come out to Oakmont of Valencia on Saturday between 10 and 1. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Mary. It Thank was so you. nice seeing you Thank again. you both. And we'll have you back All soon. Right. Look forward to it. Thank yes, you. Yes, terrific. I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on your Senior Hour on your hometown station, 98.1 FM and AM 1220 KHTS. Healthcare can be difficult if you're underinsured or have Medi-Cal. Samuel Dixon Family Health Center can help. Services are available on a sliding fee schedule. The mission of the Samuel Dixon Family Health Center is to give the Santa Clarita Valley access to affordable quality primary care. There are three locations to serve you, Canyon Country, Newhall, and Valverde. Go to sdfhc.org for more information and to find the location most convenient for you.
You worry because your mom and dad aren't as active and are finding it more challenging to live on their own. The answer? Premier Assisted Living Community, Oakmont of Santa Clarita, now leasing. Located on Newhall Ranch Road, Oakmont of Santa Clarita, bringing comfort and luxury to assisted living. Your parents can enjoy five-star amenities and panoramic views in a world-class community. No other assisted living community has this kind of luxury and amenities in our valley. Visit oakmontofsantaclarita.com. The Art Gallery of Santa Clarita Artists Association, located in downtown Newhall on 6th Street between Railroad and Main, features local members' original artwork with changing exhibits every two months. Purchase affordable art for your home or as gifts. Open Friday through Sunday or by appointment. Artists wishing to join the SCAA can visit santaclaritaartist.org, come to our free monthly meetings at Barnes & Noble, or stop by the gallery. For upcoming shows, check us out at santaclaritaartist.org. We make visual art visible. At Advanced Audiology, we know how important hearing is to you, your loved ones, your work success, your safety, and your ability to stay in the game. Most people won't admit hearing loss to themselves or others. We make it easy for you. Today's digital hearing aids come in a variety of styles, including invisible. All feature-rich, providing unparalleled hearing quality, wearing comfort, and automation that simplifies your life. Don't be fooled by our imitators. There's only one Advanced Audiology with the purple sign next to AAA on Valencia Boulevard. We all know sometimes people lose their way. If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, The Way Out Recovery SEV may have the answers you've been waiting for. The Way Out is the premier intensive outpatient treatment center serving Santa Clarita. Asking for help is the first step. Call The Way Out today, 661-296-4444. That's 296-4444 for a private free assessment. The Way Out is an accredited, affordable outpatient program that accepts most insurance. Call us at 661-296-4444 or check us out online at thewayoutrecoveryscv.com. Quit battling with yourself. Ask The Way Out for help today. Your, your hometown station. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? When I... Welcome back to the Senior Hour. I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on your hometown station, 98.1 FM and AM 1220 KHTS. And our guest now is Kevin McDonald, who's the big mucky muck over at Bella Vida, our brand new senior living center. Yes, indeed. Good to oh, be with you. <laughs> good Welcome, to see Kevin. you again. And you're busy over there, aren't We're you? We're very busy over there. It's it, great. Isn't great that to see wonderful? The yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, it really is. So much more so than you were over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause you have a heck of a lot more room. Yes. Well, when you you know when you build something and you have a project that's six years in the making, and then you wonder, will it take off? And the wonderful crowds from the area are coming in. And uh, we had people knocking at the door at 5.30 last night, and they just want to know a little bit more. So we're having some newcomers come in, and, mm -hmm. and word spreading that. And she says, are, do I have to pay a fee to walk through your front door? And I said, no, no, we're open, we're open to the public. We're, we're a private nonprofit, but we welcome you. You don't have to be a senior. You mm -hmm. need to be a senior to have lunch with us, of course. But for many of the activities, you don't have to be. So it's we're also going through a process of educating, saying no, it's it's a welcome er, a center for for everybody. Yeah. And, because sooner and or later, that you, word. sooner Vida. or later, you're going to be a senior. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yes, indeed. So everybody we welcome the community. It's just spreading that word, and uh, they're tentative walking through that front door as anybody is going mm -hmm. into a new place. And what is this really like? And it's you know we call it Bella Vida senior center but it's it's different from that and we're, we're the, the community is reshaping what we really are over there and it's nice nice to see that going forward and, and shaping what the community wants so as we asked mary uh, from oakmont uh you know there's an image of of seniors older adults there's an image of wheelchair and uh, the walker mm -hmm. and canes and you know looking frail and you know we that image is different uh, these days, but most people, even our older adults, think of it that way. Mm -hmm. How do we make sure, Kevin, that people don't think only it's a place for wheelchairs? How do we keep that concept out of their minds and know that this is a place for life? Yeah, you know, and it's, it, it's difficult because you're dealing with an age range of pretty much 60 to over 100. Mm -hmm. And everyone's different. Everyone's an individual. 
Everybody is special. It's Gene, it's Barbara, it's Kevin. And then that's how we approach it. So there's not a who's there. Lots of different people are there. Mm -hmm. We have from the fast-paced aerobics to chair exercise to lecture series. And I look in the rooms, and there's just a diverse, wonderful, different group of people. So it's not, in my eyes, it's senior biased, of course, but not necessarily our only service population there. Right. I mean, we're really serving the person, and that's where it all starts. Um, Will we accommodate for seniors? Absolutely. Is everything accessible? Absolutely. But we're we're serving the person first, and that kind of makes it easier as we go forth without – creating what is it what is it's a a place for you and i Mm -hmm. and we create our own world once we walk through Mm -hmm. the doors there Mm -hmm. your world may be one of just education your world may be just of nutrition and gathering with your friends and hanging out around the table and having some food together Um, your world may be a little bit more intense with some physical fitness exercise it Mm -hmm. all depends what you create Mm -hmm. for your day or you sit on the patio near the fireplace and hang out uh, with somebody and have a cup of coffee and then that becomes your day Mm -hmm. So it's really, when you walk through that door, you're creating your own day with very few restrictions and barriers, except the fact that the classes have times they start and end. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Now, have you thought about putting a swimming pool out there? We haven't. We haven't. We've thought about it. Of course, we've thought about a lot of things over the years. We couldn't afford a swimming pool when we put it all together. But the aquatic center is less than a half mile away, Mm -hmm. and they have a wonderful aquatic center there and wonderful classes. So we hope. People, and we even thought of getting a little van service over there, but people, we're going to give information so people can sign up for classes there. Uh, we've met with the city staff just the other day to share. We need to share more information about the great aquatic center we have Absolutely. in the city and it because, because be it's so close. Oh, it mm-hmm. would be a, a big asset to yeah. seniors. But they also say many of the senior classes, into. but they already have senior classes there, and they're almost full. Yes. So it's a great it's a great true. need that they're mm-hmm. meeting over there. Yes. So mm-hmm. and a, and you know nothing I there's nothing more beneficial than water aerobics. Yeah. And the pools are beautiful. So yeah. and you, because you don't hurt yourself. Yes. You're you're maneuvering against the water, mm-hmm. and the water. I mean, you don't bang into it and <laughs> break a knee <laughs> right. or twist a leg or something like mm-hmm. that. The water is very giving, but yet Mm -hmm. it is forcing you to move Yes, Mm -hmm. because Mm -hmm. you have to move that water out of the way in order to do those exercises. I know I did water aerobics at College of the Canyons for about eight years, two or three times a week until they stopped the water aerobics Mm -hmm. program, which broke my heart. Well, we have a nice combination between what the city offers and what we're able to offer at at Bella Vida. I think it's a, a great partnership going on here if there is though a listener who is willing to donate money for a for a pool <laughs> we'll be happy to take it <laughs> far-fetched but you know we it's just one of these things barbara that you know i think w- there's clear-cut evidence to show that uh water aerobics uh, and swimming exercises makes a huge difference mm-hmm. um in our older older adults but you know there's a reality we That's what, true. what is up and running right now and with the aquatic center so close by you know we're gonna we're gonna deal in that way with it and, until we get that donor or whoever it is <laughs> out there listening <laughs> right. to the show right now and there's, saying, there's lots yeah. of options on golden valley road or right off the many, golden valley. Yes. <laughs> how appropriate <laughs> right is now. that to be called golden valley way there <laughs> That's right. So. absolutely so absolutely so you know one of the the big things kevin about older adults and we had talked about it uh, with our previous guest mary you know is assuring that their nutrition is adequate and there's so many ways now that um our bella vita has that for them in many many different ways of providing it to um there on site but outside of that site and outside of our community even Mm -hmm. yeah this sure is and the food that we provide there there's not a lot of chocolate cake coming out which i wish there was <laughs> um, but our nutritional guidelines for every single thing we serve at at, at bella vita is based on the county's guidelines for the nutritional value because we're funded through the older americans act which is a federal law mm-hmm. it passes through the county with their regulatory process and ends up at the table at bella vita with a wonderful nutritious meal that is surveyed by 
several different layers of people that come in to check our food and everything else. So it's wonderful. And, and the fact that we can make it taste good with all those regulations <laughs> on top of it is, is not too it's bad. Great. <laughs> but they get a full meal, and, and that's nice. But it's also, like I said, the education. Um, mm -hmm. And that's why we have our health, health and wellness lecture going year-round on Wednesdays because it will bring up diabetes and those issues because we're just one meal out of the day. And mm -hmm. for some people, that's their home-run meal. That's, that's their and, major and, meal. And, and that's okay because we all, many people have light breakfasts and they have something else for dinner. But we want to give you a, a full lunch, a plated lunch during the day. But that nutrition is through our executive chef, Joanna Vallelonga, does a great job with keeping that in line. Uh, for our services. So Joanna is very particular. She just finished the menu. She was sharing the menu with me the other day um, of all the different options she can provide. And there's certain ounces of, of meat and there's certain ounces of breads and diff all the different areas. So it's really a lot of thought goes into it. It's not just getting the meals out because we brag about how many people are we're serving, but it's also the, the quality of the food and the nutritional value of the food. And you have a beautiful kitchen there. Mm -hmm. I, it must be an absolute pleasure to work in that kitchen. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful at 5 a.m. in the morning, Barbara. <laughs> After 5 a.m., we have two cooks. We have about six staff in there, and it's going crazy because they're producing over almost 600 meals a day out of there. Mm -hmm. So if you think of it, yes, it's clean at 5, but I go in and I'll see it at 1.30 when they're done with everything. <laughs> but by 3 o'clock, the place is spotless again, and mm -hmm. we go for the next day. And then we're preparing for the, We're always preparing for a day ahead. Well, so you're as also we're, as we're Go yeah, ahead. you're also preparing for the home delivered meals. Yes, and that's why and when that's I say 600 meals, we have several meals going out, the, the, over 200 going out the front door, mm -hmm. which is to our, our, our main ballroom, but also almost 300 going out to our home delivered meals. We it's same thing as Meals on Wheels, same thing. But we also want to make sure the community knows, you know, we don't put a cap on that. So if four people walked through the door yesterday and said, I need home delivered meals or meals on wheels, and we go out and assess them to make sure they're homebound, that's a requirement, you have to be homebound to get a meal. But we can start that service very soon. So there's not you're not waiting a month to get the service. So mm -hmm. I'm speaking um, with a team on Thursday, and I'm letting them know as when people exit different facilities and different hospitals, mm -hmm. are you connecting them with meals on wheels? in Santa yeah, Clarita. Great point. Because we want you to make, don't let them go out the door mm -hmm. without they're having a nutritional meal at their doorstep the day after they get home. Yeah. And it's a support to their caregivers. And it's, oh, Absolutely. I get one meal a day. I don't have to cook. A caregiver, you know they're going to be grateful. Um, and we know it's a homebound senior, so it kind of works well. Yeah, you well, know I've, I've used it before because when I would go away for a few days in the middle of the week and Russ being homebound, mm -hmm. We had the meals delivered through home delivered right. meals, mm -hmm. and they were really good meals. They were very yeah. nutritious. Mm -hmm. And it's also part of a larger network. We're involved with Meals on Wheels California and Meals on Wheels America. So, part of a much larger network, sharing experiences, mm -hmm. sharing ideas. What's it going to look like in the future? How's it going to be funded in the future? What else can you provide besides just not, it's not just a lunch anymore? Um, it's also one of the sayings. So, it's much more than a lunch. So we're working with the, na the national organization as we're a member of, and it's really giving us wonderful mm -hmm. resources and how to cut expenses in different ways and how to share buying and different things like that. So it's, it's more than just the local place. We're, we're, we're connected nationally so we can find what we have to fight for. Well, it's interesting, too, because I, as you know, I used to be a driver mm -hmm. for Home Delivered Meals, and it was one of the most rewarding volunteer things I have ever done because those seniors are waiting, literally waiting, having their curtains right. open, waiting. Yes, here you come. And come you know, Barbara, as you, as you say that, and I just got the call this week, that we need more volunteers for the drivers. Now we need steady drivers. So if you say you're going to do every Friday, we need you there every Friday. So it's not just a stop in for the summer type thing. We need some steady drivers. Uh, a lot of retirees go do it. And you, like you said, they get the wonderful satisfaction. Oh, but is. if you can pick a day and a route. So every day we have 10 routes. 10 routes going out five days a week. And it, and it has to be a volunteer driver in one of our Nissan Cubes, which is easy to drive vehicle. Mm -hmm. And like it's that smile. It's that lunch. But we definitely need that keeps the program going. It's our wonderful volunteer team. Oh, it team. does. Because those, those homebound seniors, sometimes you're the only personal contact right. they have and they want you to sit down for a few minutes and talk to them mm -hmm. and it was it was so rewarding it really was it is and um, it's also eyes on the person and uh, we've right. had several calls there was uh, just a call this morning somebody was in distress 
and our driver was able to get them support right away and stayed with them until the support came. And that's just, I just got that text before I walked in here, mm -hmm. that they were handling a situation because our, our drivers are there to deliver the meal but also survey what's going on. Mm -hmm. That's right, and sit down and chat for a few minutes yeah. with them. Mm -hmm. And they, th the, the clients thoroughly enjoy that. At least they did when I did yes. it. And I'm sure that <laughs> has not changed. <laughs> has not changed. Now, there's been some, yeah. some wonderful, wonderful stories and experiences. Um, mm -hmm. I went up to the guy, a guy in a trailer once, and I was like, and I was like, who are we walking into? I, th I thought it was a house in front. No, it was a trailer in the back, and he was a former mm. minister. Oh. He gave us so many blessings that day. <laughs> we gave him the meal. I had so many blessings on us walking out. I was like, hey, what a great day. And we were just giving him an extra meal that day. But he said, don't come in because I'm really sick and it may be contagious. At oh. that point, we didn't care. You know, it was you like we're gonna get you. The, we're gonna get to the meal, <laughs> and the, the blessings go back and forth, and you walk out of there. You're like you're sky high, and then you think, um, you know, that person will get a meal the next day too. It's yeah. not just we're, we're not just leaving them for a long time. Though somebody else will deliver that meal the next day, and I'll never remember, never forget that gentleman mm -hmm. with his, you know, t-shirt on mm -hmm. and struggling and just saying the prayers for everybody. Mm -hmm. It was okay. But we have to take care of each other, mm -hmm. and that's what our senior center does to this community. Mm -hmm. And uh, now having our Bella Vida and being able to service in a much bigger way, it, it makes a huge difference. But certainly, you know, one of the, the – my memory right now uh, is eating lunch there and always hearing music and chatter and, you know, people engage. I mean, it's not a place where, you know, people are drooling or – falling down or, mm -hmm. you know, throwing things around. It, it just isn't close to that. Right, right. And you really have to cross the threshold and take a step in to realize it's a wonderful place. Mm -hmm. and, and that's it. And more people are seeing that because even the size of the, the lunch crowds, uh, we're pushing over 220. Mm -hmm. Last week we broke a record with 331 people came for lunch. Mm -hmm. Really? I bought 337 <laughs> chairs. We had 331 <laughs> people show up for lunch. <laughs> Barely is, made it. Yeah. And that was, a, that was a that was Stack a, that was a Father's Day Friday of all things. And today oh I just got a, another call because we have uh, Tess and her wonderful band in today, mm -hmm. and they're selling out today. Uh, part of the music, but also the companionship. Oh, I so, gotta uh, get over there real quick <laughs> then after the show. <laughs> yeah, great bands playing today, and when the great bands come, they, uh, the more people come and enjoy their day. Wow. But you also, when you come to lunch, you don't have to come every day. You have to fill out the county form once a year, which is usually in July. But the after that, you can just mm -hmm. come and, and they, you give your name and they give you a ticket with your name on it. And that's you can go sit where you want. And I have a key. And you have a key. We've got to get that key, key back <laughs> from you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Because if that door's locked, I'm going to unlock that door. Fair if enough. The, if the kitchen is messed up one morning, when people come in, you'll know why. She there was there. <laughs> oh. But there's so many other things that are uh, going on other than the food sure. a, and giving in that way. I, and, you know, the activities that are there and the information that is gained, you know, we, we are providing a service that older adults have, I don't believe, get in any other part of Los Angeles County. Mm -hmm. uh, we do the best job. Uh, we are rated that way as well. And the, the community uh, definitely supports our efforts uh, and the senior center uh, being able to provide that. Monetarily, they support it. Emotionally, they support it. Uh, across the board, you know, we, uh, we raise uh, and elevate uh, our older adults to a different level mm -hmm. uh, in Santa Clarita, which is wonderful. It's rec and you know, when you have a city council, I think four out of five are, are, are seniors. So <laughs> that helps a little bit, but that recognition has made a difference in terms of the fundraising, getting the doors open, and now providing the services that is recognized throughout the state and probably the country as services that other places don't get, but they're trying to magnify their own services to emulate us. Right. You know, and that, those partnerships, it's partnerships with, mm -hmm. from the, the federal government, um, the state government um, with uh, Assemblymember Smith helping us out with some funding for the, for the building just recently. We're so appreciative of that. Mm -hmm. The county government we work with every day, the city we work with every day, and then the community we work with every day. So mm -hmm. those kind of partnerships with one mission in mind, which is simply to serve seniors and provide a better mm -hmm. quality of life. As long as that focus is there mm -hmm. and those partnerships work together, 
the more better. And, yeah, and, and it's those major partnerships. It's also the smaller partnerships. We're working with the Boys and Girls Club now and working uh -huh. some creative ideas with Matt Nelson and his team over there uh -huh. and, and, and with COC. So there's other smaller local partnerships that are also – because you're right, it's – we need to be the best. We try to be the best, mm -hmm. but we need our partnerships to make that happen. We mm -hmm. need the community to support us. That's um, right. Because I keep reminding folks as they do, we're still a private, nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. We have to make ends meet. But we, we're just here to serve the best we can. Yeah, and you you have some wonderful employees there, too. We, we certainly do. <laughs> and we're very proud of them. Yes. Yes, they do. All really 85 do. of them. And I remind oh. them, there's 85 plus. We'll break 100 this year. Um, and each one has a story that they bring. And each one has a reason uh, for being. And for sometimes being it's the more vocal ones that get the recognition. Mm -hmm. And I look for the shy person who's really just mm -hmm. working hard in the background to make sure that senior's life's a little bit better, and those are the ones that don't get the recognition. So, um, But they're there to help. They're there to help, and, that's and I am so that's lucky. That's the main thing right there. They are there to help, and they're there because they want to be there, yes. not necessarily for the salary they, that they get. That's for sure. And, <laughs> I mean, it's you're right. You're right, and we have to take a break, don't we, Igli? <laughs> 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 I'm Barbara Carkin with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on your hometown station, 98.1 FM and AM 1220 KHTS. Remember when you and your sweetheart would go ice skating, gliding across the ice hand in hand? Well, relive those magical moments at Ice Station Valencia during any of our daily public sessions. The Ice Station Coffee Club, our Monday to Friday noontime skate for adults only, is a great place to socialize while getting in healthy ice skating exercise. For beginners, there's a free skating lesson every Tuesday and Thursday. Ice Station, across the street from Valencia High. Call 775-8686 or check icestation.net for ice skating fun. You're building is essential to getting customers to your location. Feathers can help you get your business noticed. Feathers, now in a new larger space with plenty of parking. They walk you through each phase of your project with special attention to detail and quality. Feathers will provide you with a sign that you can be proud of. Your sign will draw customers in instead of having them drive by. Visit Feathers online at feathersigns.com or go to Feathers' brand new bigger location at 26017 Huntington Drive off Rye Canyon or call 298-9442. Hi, Kirk Stinson here with Plumbing by Kirk, your hometown plumber. With another tip, close your sink drain and remove your expensive jewelry when entering the shower to avoid costly plumbing expenses. But if it does happen, shut off the water immediately and call Plumbing by Kirk. We invite you to visit our website for free plumbing advice at plumbingbykirk.com or give us a call, 263-6519. That's 263-6519. My dad is the best plumber ever. Call Plumbing by Kirk. At Advanced Audiology, we know how important hearing is to you, your loved ones, your work success, your safety, and your ability to stay in the game. Most people won't admit hearing loss to themselves or others. We make it easy for you. Today's digital hearing aids come in a variety of styles, including invisible. All feature-rich, providing unparalleled hearing quality, wearing comfort, and automation that simplifies your life. Don't be fooled by our imitators. There's only one Advanced Audiology with the purple sign next to AAA on Valencia Boulevard. Valencia Marketplace is celebrating summer with events for the whole family. Our Summer Sunset Concert Series begins this Friday and continues each week through August 16th. This Saturday, experience the Aquarium of the Pacific's Aquarium on Wheels, where you'll have touch time with the animals. Kids can pose next to life-size replicas of giant sea creatures, climb aboard the KHCS Antique Fire Truck, and participate in activities sponsored by the Stevenson Ranch Library. The fun begins at noon at the Valencia Marketplace Amphitheater. It's free, but space is limited. Details at ValenciaMarketplace.com. It's like no other station I've ever listened to. It's great. Your, your hometown station. Welcome to the Senior Hour. The following is paid programming and does not necessarily reflect the opinions of KHCS or its ownership. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64? Welcome back to the Senior Hour. I'm Dr. Gene Dorio with my co-host Barbara Cochran on your hometown station AM 1220 and FM 98.1 KHTS. Uh, we're talking with Kevin McDonald from uh, our Senior Center. And, you know, Kevin, you, can you tell us what a uh, normal day is like at the Senior Center? A normal day. No, a as normal, normal as could be, because <laughs> I'm sure there aren't normal days. For, for our staff, it starts at 5.30 in the morning preparing the food. But let me walk through a normal day if uh, you or Barbara were to, were to walk in. Mm -hmm. So if you walk in after 8 o'clock, you come in and be welcomed by our um, concierge, Irma, 
and, and give it a welcome. If it's your first time, you'll get a tour, and Irma will arrange for a tour for you right away to see all the, the programs that we have. Um, today, it would have been aerobics at 8.30, um, and we have a, almost a full house for that already, and we're opening up another class very soon for, for more types of aerobics. At 9 o'clock, our ballroom opens. Our ballroom opens at 9 a.m. in the morning for coffee service. So if you're just looking to get out of the house and come and relax and chat, and we have the tables are set up just like for lunch, but you can come and enjoy coffee service. First time we've been able to do that, mm -hmm. and that's why the ballroom is occupied. And I was there today when people were coming in, and they're getting in their little groups and their little team of people, and they're having their coffee and sharing the morning together. Because some people, loneliness is a big part of a lot of people's lives, and to go to a place where I felt welcome, even if you sit at a table alone, someone's going to come and join you. Um, to have that coffee or tea or whatever you're going to have in the morning. So there's a, it's a destination uh, for people to get out of the house. Now, do you have croissants there? I don't have oh, croissants yet, but I'm oh, working on that because oh. it's not really nutritional, Barbara. No, but that's, that's okay. true. <laughs> that's, no, that's <laughs> very oh, true. Very so the true. ballroom's open for coffee, so you're enjoying your coffee. At 9 o'clock, if you want to take the acrylics and oil lessons class, which I have mm. nothing, but I looked <laughs> in there today, and it's a beautiful class, and the work that's being done with a professional artist training people on, on acrylics and oil lessons. Um, that, that now, will what does nine. are they actually painting? Yes, they're actually painting. They're um, painting so you can a sign picture. up for that class. Yeah, oh, it's the work's incredible, um, and even the rookies are allowed in there. Yeah. So um, we'll get you in there. At 9:45, if you don't want to do oils and acrylics, you're going to be sit and be fit, which is another type of class. So you're using a chair. So if you're, uh, that's maybe the class for you. And then at 10 o'clock this morning, we had scholar series. They talked about Apollo 11. Wow. And they talked about because it's the 50th anniversary is coming mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Did, July, we really, did we really July go to the moon or not? And all those mm. kind of fun things. But the Scholar Series has started, and they brought in a, in a great presenter for that. And then if, as soon as you're done with the Scholar Series, you can leave halfway through and go get your blood pressure checked. Okay? So you can go upstairs, and there was a long line of people getting <laughs> blood pressure checked by our local nurse, and that's all for free. Um, after that, you get your blood pressure checked. You can run downstairs again and take chair Pilates and stretch. So you're bouncing around. Now, all these classes take some time, so you have to pick and choose. After that, the ballroom opens for a formal lunch at 11.30. So 11.30 to almost 1 o'clock, we have the formal lunch for everybody. And like I said, Tess and her band is coming today, mm -hmm. and they're enjoying lunch with – they'll break, probably break 2.50 today uh, or more. We'll see when I get back. Um, so everyone enjoys lunch. Then Pinochle starts in our card room at 12.30, so if you want to join the Pinochle group, you can do that. If not, our library is in the same room. Grab a book mm -hmm. and hang out on the couch, a beautiful leather couch, and hang out and chill and have some coffee. Mm -hmm. um, after that's done, there's another health and wellness lecture, Improving Your Sleep is today. So I'm sorry I'm missing that one today. <laughs> but how to improve your, your sleep. sleep, and we all need oh, that one. Oh, absolutely. Um, so that's a health and wellness lecture. Every Wednesday they have a special lecture, and Natalie, one of our staff, brings in some really crackerjack people for that. This afternoon, there's a movie, The First Man on the Moon, and a part of our cinema. So mm -hmm. First Man, I'm not, I think I'm not allowed to say Shouldn't that. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, there's a movie coming on this afternoon at 1.30 for that. After the movie, go to Zumba Gold at 3 o'clock and go and enjoy that. In the meantime, what's happening in that building is various meetings and support groups for people. So you go upstairs and you can meet with any of our support groups for Alzheimer's support group, grief counseling, and all those different there's types of supports that happen during strokes. the day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because that was in the paper this morning. Mm -hmm. I didn't get to read it. But, but, um, but those it's are support there. groups going. So you have all these activities, but you mm -hmm. also, we know Lectures. the human being needs that support. So our social service department, right. which is upstairs, meets with people and say, what's your, what's your need? What's mm -hmm. your crisis in life? How can I help you as a caregiver or as a person who's a senior? Um, also going on as we're doing this is our day program opens up at 8 o'clock today, and that's going from 8 until 4, serving people with Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. So that building is kind of rocking with those different options. So what's a day in the life of is, mm -hmm. is what I wanted to share with you. Yeah. Wow. Th and it, we're, you know, coming to the end of the show, but one of the, you know, the senior center was on Market Street, but now it's moved. Uh, and can you just give a quick directional finding type GPS for some of the <laughs> listeners because they're I'm sure they've been listening to the show and said when are they going to tell us where this place is 27180 Golden Valley Road the best way to do it if you're coming from uh, Sierra Highway um, you're going to come down Golden Valley come down towards the LA Fitness and Center Point in that area mm -hmm. you'll cross the riverbed and then you follow Golden Valley because it shoots up to the right it goes mm -hmm. all the way up the hill and it goes up the hill about a half mile and it's on the, the cross street is five knolls is a light there and that's mm -hmm. the best way to turn into the senior center is Golden Valley Road and five knolls road 
Golden Valley Park, a dog park, is right across the street. That's also mm -hmm. a big landmark for most of the ways and the different apps that mm -hmm. use it. But Golden Valley Park in and you'll see mm -hmm. the big building down, down in the valley there. And the all kinds of signs along mm -hmm. Golden Valley mm -hmm. and where to turn. Right. And yeah, we're working on all kinds of transportation to get people there somehow. Oh, the somehow, city just offered a new transportation yes, route. Exactly. Routes five and six are coming Isn't in. Big great? buses drop off right yep, in front of the right. senior center now. What a great gift. And that yeah. started July 1st. Kevin, so. it's, it's very exciting. It's very uh, opportune. It's perfect timing. Uh, we needed this. Um, this is uh, – uh, outstanding the job you have done but as well as how the community has networked with you and partnered with you to get this going we appreciate all the things you have done for us here in Santa Clarita thank, well, thank you so much thank you we appreciate your coverage appreciate it we are sponsored by cover keepers in home care and advanced audiology listen to us next week on the senior hour now go and enhance your quality of life